safety. First problem is ammonia this meeting is, being recorded. is widely used as fertilizer and in many household cleaners. How many moles of ammonia are produced when six moles of hydrogen gas react with an excess of nitrogen gas? So first thing we do is to balance the reaction wherein the nitrogen reacts with hydrogen and will produce ammonia. So the mole ratio we get after balancing is 1 is to 3 and is to 2. The given of the problem is 6 moles of hydrogen and we need to find the amount of ammonia produced. So first thing we do is to multiply the 6 moles of hydrogen to the mole ratio of 2 moles of ammonia over divided by 3 moles of hydrogen and it will have the final answer of 4 moles of NH3. Therefore, ammonia will produce 4 moles when 6 moles of hydrogen gas react with an excess of nitrogen gas. So, for number two, the decomposition of potassium chlorate is used as a source of oxygen in the laboratory. How many moles of potassium chlorate are needed to produce 15 moles of oxygen gas? So, the answer, 2, 2 kcl o 2, 2 kcl 3 plus 3O2. The mole ratio of the mole ratio is two is to two is to three. The given fifteen mole of O2. Unknown amount of Cl3 KCL3. For for the solution, fifteen mole of O2 times two mole C K. Cl3 over 3 mole O2 is equals to 10 mole of Kl3 so that therefore the, the potassium chlorate, chlorate are needed to, pro, to produce 15 mole of oxygen gas is 10 mole of K, KCl3. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, let's check. Requesting remote control over this slide. Okay. Ayan. Okay, so this is still under stoichiometry. We have reaction stoichiometry and ideal stoichiometry calculation. So, ano na ito? Yung kanina, in preparation lang muna, conversion of grams to moles and moles to grams, and even converting the number of atoms to both moles and grams. This time, we will really talk about the full-blown um, stoichiometric problem, but starting with the mole ratio. The mole ratio class is the uh, ratio between the coefficients um, in a chemical reaction. So depending on the chemical equation, there will be a lot of possible mole ratios and you can uh, combine or you can partner a reactant with another reactant, a product with a reactant, or even product and another product. So this time, the instruction is for you to write all the possible mole ratios and let's check whether you have really enumerated all. Kasi ang instruction, all possible uh, mole ratio. So you can do first uh, partnering uh, mercury oxide to mercury. So you have 2 is to 2. This is correct. And the vice versa of that. So the reciprocal is also counted. So you have 2 moles of mercury is to 2 moles of mercury oxide. And then we have here... 2 moles of mercury. Um, saan yung number of moles dito? This should be... How do you write this supposedly? This is 2 moles of mercury oxide is to 2... Uh, no, no, 1 mole only. 1 mole of... This should be 1 mole of 
oxygen. And yung kabaliktaran niya, 1 mole, ano ito? O2 lang. Lagay niyo 1 mole ha. 1 mole of oxygen um, is to 2 moles of mercury oxide. And then, pwede din namang product and product. So, 2 moles of mercury. Again, please write 1 mole of oxygen. This is oxygen here. So, this is 1 mole of oxygen is to 2 moles of mercury. Okay? Wait lang ha. I-reply ko nito si Dean. Okay. Next, that's all the possible ratios. So all in all, kailangan ang sagot niyo yan, niyo dito for number one is anim lahat. Kasi kasali dyan yung reciprocal niya. Okay? Next, let's have number two. Ay, ayan, number two is... Uh, mas marami tayong dapat sagot dito kasi mas marami, dalawa yung ating reactants here. So you may have this one, 4 moles of ammonia, saan ang partner niya? 6 mole of NO, and yung kanyang kabaliktaran, 6 moles of NO over 4 moles of ammonia. So, yan yung kanyang kabaliktaran. And then, this one also. 4 moles of ammonia is to 5 moles of N2. And then, do not forget the reciprocal. Ay, this is 5. 5 moles of N2 is to 4 moles of ammonia. That is, already, that is also counted. And lastly... We have 4 moles of ammonia. Yes, is to 6 moles of H2O. Okay? Or yung kanyang reciprocal. 6 moles of water is to um, 4 moles of ammonia. Hindi nyo nasali yung reciprocal dyan. That is also counted. And then... Um, what else? 6 moles of uh, nitrogen monoxide 2, 5 moles of M2, and ang kabaliktaran, ay, wala siyang 2. Nitrogen monoxide, wala siya. And then, 6 moles of N2. And then, uh, this one pa. 6 moles of NO, is to 6 moles of water. This is correct. Pero you can reverse this also. So 6 moles of NO din siya. And then lastly, product and product. So 5 mole of nitrogen is to 6 moles of water. So this is also correct. Pero you can also reverse this. 6 moles of water is to 5 moles of NO. Okay? So ilan niya lahat? should have um, 12 possible mole ratios. Okay, so any question before we'll continue? Wala. Ayun naman next. Okay. So this one is a problem. 
you have to analyze the problem first and then come up with the correct chemical equation, correct balanced equation before you can do the math for the stoichiometry. So according to the problem, we have here ammonia, which is used as fertilizer and in many household products or cleaners. And then, yung ina-ask niya is ilang moles of ammonia will be produced if you have 6 moles of hydrogen gas reacting with nitrogen gas. So for your chemical equation here, uh, the reactants will be, yes, nitrogen. And remember that nitrogen is a member of our Brichnov, which is also called the diatomic molecules. So, kapag sinabing diatomic molecules, they don't really exist as one atom only in nature, uh, but they are and, but they come in two. So, diatomic molecules sila. If they are not combined to another element, ha? so like this one, nitrogen, pag um, nag-react ito siya, hindi pwedeng nitrogen na isang atom lang. So, N2. And that is also true, true for hydrogen. So, N2 plus um, H2 will give us ammonia, but you have to balance the equation. Is this balanced? N2... Okay, this is already balanced. So this is the chemical equation here, the balanced one. And what is asked in the problem is the amount of ammonia if you have six moles of hydrogen. So you just need the pattern. Remember our pattern for stoichiometry weight times the molar mass in order for us to convert weight into moles times the mole ratio times the weight, uh, sorry, not the weight, the molecular weight or the atomic weight of the unknown in the problem. But since the given is in moles and we are also looking for the number of moles, you, also, you, you will just need this part of the pattern. So this is correct. Six moles of H2, you just need to multiply it sa mole ratio. Our mole ratio is three moles of H2 is to two moles of ammonia. So cancel the moles of H2, you will have moles of ammonia. Six times two is 12 divided by three is four. So your answer here for number one is correct. Okay, questions for number one. Meron bang gusto ng itanong for number one? Wala. Sige. So, pag-assume ako na naintindihan niya na pag walang <laughs> question, uh, we will continue. We will have a quiz later. Katulipay, katulang everything. Katulang mata, katulang ilong. I'm having allergic rhinitis. <sighs> Anyway, number two, the decomposition of potassium chlorate is used as a source of oxygen in the laboratory. How many moles of potassium chlorate are needed to produce 15 moles of oxygen gas? So take note of the word decomposition. So you will have decomposition reaction here, meaning you, you will only have one reactant, and that is potassium chlorate, and it will decompose. You, you have a hint there for, uh, you, you actually have the products there, potassium uh, chloride. Ay, hindi pala nilagay yung potassium chloride. But anyway, the other product is oxygen. Oxygen is a diatomic molecule. So if you take out oxygen class, you will have KCl. So that's the uh, second product that will be produced for the decomposition process. And then you have to balance this equation. So si since hindi sila balanced. So this will become, okay? So this is correct. This is already a balanced equation. Now, if na balance na yan, we can now solve for the problem. Yung given moles pa rin and then ang hinahanap moles din. So, yung part ng ating pattern na kailangan is just yung number of moles multiplied to the mole ratio. So, you have there 15 moles of oxygen times yung ating mole ratio, this one, 3 moles of oxygen is equivalent to 2 moles of, bakit potassium chloride ito? This should be, 
potassium chlorate. Okay, na iwan yung oxygen. So, 15 times 2 is 30 divided by 3. That is 10 moles of, again, <laughs> na iwan plus yung oxygen. So, 10 moles of potassium chlorate. So, anyway, tama yung sagot nyo na iwan na yung oxygen type po lang siya siguro. Okay? So, that's it for um, this problem. Okay? Questions? Anyone na may gustong i-clarify? Wala na. Sure na.